Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. Again, Acrylic Painting Monday. And we are brought we brought you something, I think, a little bit different for this channel. Uh, which I talk, I'll talk about it again later. We always do the introductions last when the painting's all finished. And I can actually tell you a little bit more about what you need to do. You're probably going to want a traceable for this. This can be found at our uh, uh, Acrylic Painting with GingerCook.com. Become an orange member under $5 a month. You can just sign up for a month if you want. Get your traceables all the way back uh, to 2020. So, yeah. you know, it's a, last it's a two great, years right there. Last couple of years, anyway. And this is done on a 9 by 12 canvas. So, you know, the, probably the one um, color that you may not have is cadmium orange. I, that's a color I've been using all the time, probably in the last year. I've just, 50 years, I never heard of it, and, and I discovered it. And once you have it, you just think, oh my gosh, how did I ever live with cadmium orange? So um, I use the golden brand because I like it very much, but um, I would suggest trying some cadmium orange. Uh, this is a very simple painting, and even though it looks tricky, it's really any beginner can do it. I think you're going to just follow me step by step on this. Hi to the mods. Hi, mods. And, and have fun with this, you guys. And let me know what you think. All right, let's scoot on down to the desktop. Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here with Acrylic Painting Monday. We're going to do something a little bit different for our channel. We're going to be painting a little wizard. And kind of in the moonlight, and he's kind of whimsical. I, I would say this is whimsical art. And some people say we do a lot of different genres. This is whimsical. And... Um, I've got a little, uh, what is this, 9x12 canvas? It is 9x12. And uh, it's painted purple. It's a background. And uh, this is going to be easy. It may look a little complicated, but trust me, follow me along. It's going to be simple. Follow right? me along. Well, let's scoot on down. Scoot on down. So um, I'm just going to, you can see. Wait, 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 wait. What color background is that? This is sort of, this is purple, John. It's a purple background, just dusting purple and white. You know, it's purple. Is it? Is it? Yes. So okay. now um, what I want to do is I want to put the background in, but I know I want his hat to be orange. So I'm going to, let me just show you the colors first. I've got titanium white, cad yellow light, cad yellow uh, medium, yellow oxide, cadmium orange, cadmium uh, red light, cadmium red medium, naphtha crimson, <laughs> Um, this is like a purple, any one of these purples over here. Um, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, Payne's gray, burnt sienna, and burnt umber. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these, but one of the things about these stay, stay wet palettes, if you've done another painting and you haven't messed them up too much, you can use them again. And that's a safe, that's, that's a savings that that can make such a difference in, um, you know, how much it costs you to paint things. All right. And that's when we've got to do. Save yeah. the buckos. Yes. So I think what we're going to do uh, first is just take some the titanium white and uh, paint in the hat. And the tracer bolt, traceable uh, uh, tracings for this, it's on our website. And uh, you must be an orange um, a member or above to, uh, to get the traceables. But it's not just for this painting. It's for everything we've done for the last two years. So every once in a while... If you become an orange member, you don't have to. You don't have to stay with us. The people do we stay because they, if you do. because they show that their appreciation for these videos that you're doing, and uh, we we appreciate it very much that you appreciate what we're doing. But in any event, that's how we're going to be doing this. And some of our for some of our older videos, before 2020, uh, or COVID, um, uh, the traceables can be found uh, on those on our. Um, Pinterest board under uh, just under videos, okay. Sounds good to me. So all right, so I, I know that that I've got that's got to be white, and um, um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna paint my lantern white. So the first brush you were using was a half inch. Yeah, an angle, and this is just a little smaller brush. Probably a pointed one would have been better, but I know I want this to be white right here, and. Um, you know, whenever you need any kind of yellow, it's, it's nice to have a have white first because that'll be your brightest color then. And um, yes, and yes, and uh, so we'll just do something like this. No, there's no water on the brush. This is just. A, a paint, okay? Paint directly. Paint directly. If you get water, then you kind of defeat the purpose of this whole little exercise, right? Because you can see even now that's not that bright. 
even just with pure paint, it's got to go over purple. So um, I don't think you'll need two coats because the orange is pretty strong, but we're going to give it at least a chance here by doing that, okay? Um, and I'm going to put this um, stick in white, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to be able to see it. And um, when we do the dark background, we'll lose it. So even though this is a dark stick, I'm just going to put him in there like that. Um, okay. So let's put that brush away. Let's get our paper towels out. I want to thank our mods for coming. And um, uh, just we're going to spend a little bit of time just ex kind of explaining stuff to you. But I'm going to take the thalo blue and the titanium white, right? And I want to come around here like this. And you see how bright that is? If I add a tiny bit of Payne's Gray to it, right like that, probably a little more than that. I don't want that that much. There you go. It's just something like that, sort of an off, um, off uh, color here. And I'll wipe the brush off. Put a little bit of gray in that. There you go. Just get in the habit of tapping your brush off. Okay, and then we'll put some white in the middle of that later. But that so as, and as we go out, now we're going to go into the ultramarine blue and thalo blue, and uh, come around here like that. Maybe a little bit of ultramarine blue. I think the thalo is a little bit too bright. There you go. And a little Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is black and ultramarine blue, but I don't want it quite um, that uh, uh, dark, so we're going to have just put a little bit more blue in that. Now, I have noticed that um, sometimes golden, um, the bit golden paint, uh, their uh, Payne's Gray is a, is a little blue for me. Okay, you see, I'm just not a lot of, we want all this kind of softened out like that. See that? Just to sort of wisp. That's kind of nice. And now let's, let's do some swirls. Let's just, uh, let's, let's see, let's get some dark paint going here first. This is the Payne's Gray, and then we'll do some swirls in it. Probably the easiest way to paint this is just paint this all dark. Could you have started off with a, a black canvas? Absolutely could have done that. You'd had a black canvas that would have this would have been a probably a good one to do with this. It didn't need to be purple, but and you're thinking, thanks, Ginger. You tell me right into the painting. Well, you really should watch these videos first. <laughs> We've told you that, haven't we? Watch them first, I keep and telling then telling you people. Yeah, well, watch them first, and then see how it goes. Remember, well, we have we, we have, always change our minds. We have, we have said that I, a million times. I I know we have. So we're gonna just start with a little. A black, but you know, some of the purple shows through. That's the advantage of doing a purple under color, is that uh, if you miss a little bit of a spot and it's the purple shows through, it's all right. So we just come around and do that, and then we'll then we'll play a little, at least this far here. How's that? Notice that. Um, I don't have any water on the brush, and I'm just using water. I'm just using the paint, and if I run out, I get more paint. I don't get water. A lot of you know, a lot of times you guys get in the habit of you just feeling Grabbing like water. you've got to do water. Now we're going to add a little bit of the blue to this down here, just a little bit of the thalo blue to the Payne's gray, and a little bit of white. Okay, so we're going to just kind of change the colors. Here's a little zinc white. Let's try that. That will lighten something up sometimes a little bit and um, make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. Now, a little bit of white and thalo blue like that. There we go. Now, swirl this around like this. Just give it a little bit more. Um, a little life. Yeah, just you know, this is energy. These are energy swirls. Did you know that? This is. Um, well, he's a wizard. Well, he's a wizard. So these are, but these kind of markings is a legitimate art thing. These are called. These are like energy swirls, and when you do this, um, is that what they're actually called? Well, yeah, they're actually a movement thing. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, they they really are. It's a thing, John. It's an actual thing, and. Um, uh, 
and, and it's interesting because a lot of people don't know that, you know, that your brush, stroke, brush direction means everything because of stuff like energy swirls. It says something. It reads just like uh, uh, quotation marks in a, um, in a sentence. Well, it becomes, well, yeah. Okay. It's the expressiveness, the, the terminology. So, so I'm going to take some of the uh, burnt umber now, come on down here to the bottom, and uh, make this a little bit browner. Okay, so it's already looking cute, you guys, and we haven't done anything, really. We just, we just uh, a little bit of burnt umber. Okay. But nothing is ever just one color, and if you just insist on having it one color, um, don't. <laughs> okay, so here's a little bit of yellow oxide and burnt sienna with this. Okay, another more some energy uh, strokes, right, like that. See what I'm doing? It's everything is in, 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 in a little bit of chaos. So here's just a little bit of burnt sienna. Okay, a little bit of Payne's Gray. And we've got a pretty good uh, background pretty fast, didn't we? You guys, huh? I know. You're going, I know. And I, I'm telling you, it's just, it's shocking, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So let's dry this because we've got such a great background. Let's not lose it, okay? Yeah. Let's just take a moment and dry it. You're going to love it. This is going to be one of your fun holiday pictures. Okay? So now, if you're using the same brush, make sure you've wiped it off. And see, look, I have a bunch of blue on there. I'm going to rinse it again, try it again on that. See? See all the blue that's in that brush? You're either going to have to go wash it, get a different brush, wash this. If you can't get the blue out, you see, I'm not, it's not really coming out easily. But we'll try it one more time. Almost. Pretty good right there. Now, we'll just move this pa paper like that. Turn it over. There you go. Now let's try this one more time. All right, so I'm pretty good there. All right, so I'm going to take some uh, titanium white and a tiny bit of yellow oxide. Okay, and I'm going to come up here like this and say that there's my moon. Yeah. And then maybe there's a dot of kind of white in the middle. Okay, like that. And then uh, zinc white, now that's your transparent white, mixing white with Liquitex. If we do this, this is very much like a Van Gogh um, moon. Take a little bit of this orange, cat orange light, or just rather, this is cadmium orange, really not even cat orange light. Barely touching this. All right, so there's our, there's our moon. Um, Wanted something a little bit lighter there. Put a little white with it. Okay. All right. That was fun. Didn't take much, did it? You're going, well, I guess I could do that, Ginger. You did it. Pretty, pretty, that looked pretty easy. Yeah. So let's find a smaller brush. And let's take the cadmium, cadmium orange and come inside our lantern like this. And take our yellow oxide come on top of our lantern like this. And it's got a little orange on the brush still. So I've got more of a marigold, but marigold's translucent. And when you do this color by just adding the cadmium orange to that, what happens is, is that it, um, uh, cadmium, cadmium orange and um, yellow oxide, you get almost a marigold color, but not the, um, um, but it's not as translucent. Okay, now I think I want to have a little bit of the cad yellow light there in the middle. Yeah, maybe a little bit right on here like that. Okay, well, that's, that's a start for that. It, it needs a bit more of a refinement. Do you like that word, refinement? I like that word. Definitely needs some refinement here. We're going to come in here like that and give that a cut the corners off that rectangle and you're going oh that's neat and then just put this up here like that okay so already a little refinement never hurts 
a little bit of burnt sienna, wipe off the extra, add a little yellow oxide to that. Say there's a little shadow part on the top of this. Okay, so nothing, again, we keep saying that nothing is ever one color. Never. And we're just going to skinny up the bottom like that. Okay. Hey, we thank the moderators for being here yet. I think we, we should. We did. I did. I did. Oh, when? I, when? I did. You want to thank him again? Go ahead. No, no, I, I did. I think we should. Like, thank you, moderators, for being here tonight. Yeah, thank you guys, because, you know, we, we so appreciate it. And we may or may not be here ourselves. We think so, but you never know with us. We never know when we're, when we're we out and about, if we have Internet connection, when we try to do things. But, okay, so I'm going to expand on that a little the bit. The odds are in our favor this time, because we're not, we're not in the North Pole this time. We're going to take um, take a little white and cad, cad, um, cadmium orange. I'm going to come up here on his thumb like that. Okay, and this finger, and then we'll take a little bit of orange medium. Put his little fingers in. Yeah, and then we'll put his um, his wrist in. And uh, let's say we'll take a little bit of the dark brown color and just do a little, just, we'll just shade that just a little bit. Okay, just, um, I wanted to come a little bit closer to the, uh, with the black with this now and just kind of skinny that hand up like that. And okay. when you say black, you're talking paint's gray? Yeah, paint's gray. It's, yeah, definitely paint's gray. And then here's some ultra phthalo blue in Payne's gray. And I'm going to say there's his um, his sleeve. And um, and I want something very dark here. So this is going to be um, uh, Payne's gray. Come all the way down here. And come over here and say this is... This is... Uh, Here's his, um, here's his uh, coat right here like that. Everything's kind of dark up here by his hat. Very few details on this, really. And we're going to say his hand's going to come around the back of his hands right here. Okay, and then there's his um, coat. And this is coming down next to the, the his wand. And then... Let's just come up here like that. And uh, do all this paint's gray. Then we'll put some color over it, okay? But right now we're just gonna do it paint's gray and keep it simple. Okay, let's bring that on down. You don't, in this particular picture, you're not gonna really see his feet. You're just going to suggest there's feet under his robe. So you're just going to do something like this. You really, we're not saying, we're just not even going to talk about the feet. This is one of these, the reason we're keeping this simple and fun like this, we don't have to talk about the feet. Now, I'm going to take some white here, and um, I'm just going to say this is a kind of a gray color, and I'm going to say this is his, this is the under color, Want a little bit more blue in that, kind of a light blue color. And I'm going to say that there's a light blue color for his beard. I'm not going to finish it all, but I know that, for instance, this much is going to be kind of gray. Okay. So I might as well put that in, right? It's not finished, but, you know, we just, we have more to do with his robe. But that just gets us started. Okay like that that just gets us started with this beard i mean i'm telling you this is really going it's going to shock you how quickly this goes well i mean look how gone, how far you've gotten already all right so let's take a little bit of the cadmium orange and come on up here to his hat that is such a great color isn't it that is just, that's a perfect wizard colored hat that is a perfect orange that i have gone years without ever knowing there was such a thing as cadmium orange and I'm telling you what, because reds are primary colors 
when the factories mix this, you can't mix it. Just like you can't mix dazanine purple. You can get a purple, but you'll never get something as purple as purpley as dazanine purple. Okay? You just won't. All right, so let's take a little bit of this orange color, come up here and just flatten this out like that. Okay, like that, flatten it out and just do a little bit more on his. But you know what? I'm just going to get a new paper towel. I was, I was picking extra colors up from the paper towel, which I don't want don't to do it all. all. New. So here, let's fix that again. That was not helpful at all. I'm going to say that there's a little bit of, I wanted this finger to be a little bit darker down here on his wrist. And I'm going to go here and just suggest that his hand is coming around. We'll just do it like this and then we'll give it some definition. But we're going to say there's his hand like that around there. And again, we'll fix that, but we'll give him some definition. Now, let's take some cad yellow light. And um, while this is still wet, okay, and uh, kind of don't, don't brush it in too much. Do be a little bit more relaxed with it. Okay, just kind of swirl it around a little bit. Then we'll add a little bit of white and have it something a little bit lighter here. Here we go, just a few little paint strokes. There we go, look at that. How cute is that? And let's do the same thing over here on the, the top of his lantern. Okay. Sometimes you can just do little things and it doesn't, doesn't take much. And, It makes all the difference. Yeah, it's just you're not trying to do a lot here. You're just saying that there's a little bit of something right there. There's a little bit of a thumb coming up this way. All right, so all right, so far so good. Now, what do we know for sure? We know we need a tiny brush to do his face. So let's just take some of the cad orange um, light and come on in here, and we can. I think we can do his face. We know where the eyes go. I hope so. So we know we because we just kind of covered that up, right? All right. So here's his face under here like that. You gave him orange sunglasses. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of yellow with that, and a little bit of burnt sienna. So not very much. Too much paint. Okay, coming under here like that. Now, we're going to dry that face. I know that doesn't much to dry, but we're going to do it anyway, okay? Let's dry this. Wait till you see. So, we know that we've got a little bit of kind of a light orange color under his eyes like this. That's probably just cat orange light, right? That's probably good enough. Um, maybe even not that much. Just going to have it a little bit lighter here. And then we've got something definitely lighter on his nose. You've got to think of his nose as an upside-down triangle, like that. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to say, let's get some dark brown. And the tip down here, the tip of his nose is darker. Like that. I'll give it a cup. There you go. And uh, let's make his triangles almost to this hat, top of his hat. So let's, whoops, let's bring the triangle up a little bit further. Like that. Yeah, with me. Now we're going to dry that. Okay, I have to dry it, but trust me, it's going to get cute. All right, with me. Now. We're going to take a little bit of yellow oxide and orange and say there's the tip of his nose down here like that. Let's see, something a little darker. And then I want some sink white. Okay, I guess we should rinse our brush.
Okay. Some burnt sienna. Okay. Now let's do some titanium white. Doesn't go very far, just right here on the top of just on the top of his nose like that. And let's see it get a little bit of yellow oxide on the sides here with that orange, kind of a pale orange like this, ready to go. Okay, just get a little light under each eye. There you go. Now, um, this works because, why? Because we're going to do the same thing here, down here underneath. Oh, first we're going to take some dark brown, put it right here like that. Okay, like that. Then we're going to take a little bit of that peach color that we just made. Probably should have dried that, but that's all right. Let's just, just dry that just to be on the safe side. Because that little peach color didn't show up because it was going over that dark brown. And it didn't show up at all because I didn't dry it. Now that's, you know, something that we all learn as artists, you know, when you have to... Um, dry somebody and when you don't. So we're saying that this is coming down this way. Thin that out, right? Bit of dark under here. We've got a little bit of a shadow under the under his lip right like that. And I take a little bit of that black color, that Payne's gray, just redo that dot in his eye right here. Okay. And let's take a little bit of this brown and chip up his hat a little bit to make it a little bit darker. It's kind of burnt. Let's just do a little bit of that. He does. Okay, let's get some dark here. Uh, okay, a little bit of a little bit of orange here, and I just want to have a little bit lighter on that mouth before I do the beard. Okay, so these probably the most time you're going to spend is on his face. That'll be the most time, and even though it's a little tiny face and it's not that much. You know, that's that what I would say that is your your biggest thing here and just make it a little bit smaller that light uh, highlight there. I think almost paint um, there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take I'm gonna leave him for a second and we're gonna come down here with the um, white and phthalo blue and a little ultramarine blue, sort of a combination of both. And then you get what's called an electric blue. Probably should have used a different brush. What, what's wrong with that one? It's a little soft. Hmm. Looks like it's giving a nice glowy effect, though. Well, I'm getting that electric blue. It's a little bit wider than I wanted. Like, for instance, that's really wide right here. I just would have come in with a color like that. And, um, dried that off. And I even add a little purple to this robe. I'm not against that. 
So after all, wizards do have purple robes, don't they? And that's been my experience. They, the purple is uh, just pretty nice and dark now, isn't it? So that's that's sort of interesting in itself. And I could put a little bit of Payne's Gray on top of that and just sort of tone down the purple in a few places. Yes. All right, so we're getting we're we're kind of getting there, right? So let's um, dry that, and then we'll put on the beard. Put on the beard. I need a small angle, so that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to take titanium white now and uh, tap it off so it's not have globs of paint. Now, when you're doing the beard, the trick is to do kind of long, wiggly strokes. Kind of use lift up the brush, or you're just using the corner of it. Good, good look. Yeah, all right. You know, that's. I think that's kind of cute. And it's come on up here on his cheek a little bit. And you've got to go right next to his nose at an angle like that. Okay. So, um, again, this is this daytime where the air conditioning is a million degrees up here, right? Is that what you're telling me? No. Why is it so hot up here? I'm just cooking. Well, according to... Oh, it is. It is hot up here, right? Yeah, I wonder why you didn't kick back to the other mode. I don't know, but I'm just cooking here. I've got some light blue here now. Well, don't you worry, my queen. This coolness is on its way. Probably be too late. I'll be done by the time you cool this place off. <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah, I know what. You have a rough life. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're going to say here's some blue on top of it. Where's Brobis? Something right here. I'm going to take a small brush. I think I've got his eyes just a little bit too big. I'm going to make him slightly smaller. There. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's fix. Sometimes you can you can change the position of something by changing something else. So I'm going to thin my um, thumb up. I want some red in there. 
Okay, let's just do this for a minute, and then we'll dry it and fix the hand. But I need that to be there. It's a little darker right there. Okay, and then I want a little bit of light blue around it. Not too much, just enough to indicate the um, the robe is coming this way from his arm like this. It's coming, kind of draping by the lantern, okay? Because he has, like, you got to imagine his sleeves are kind of looped and are kind of dragging down, right, like that. There, okay, that's fun. Now, um, while that's drying, let's just take a minute and um, do a little bit of this groundwork, right? And this is what we call, you know, when we're doing some movements and you see, look at, you see how I'm mixing colors as I wipe off? And you want to be able to have a clean paper towel to wipe your brush on. Because I do that to clean it after I rinse it, make sure I have all the water out. See that? All right, now let's take some zinc white and some browns and and let's take a little bit of green, some yellow and just some of this blue we've been using. A little yellow oxide to it, right? No, it didn't look very green right there. Again, these are energy movements. Let's put a little gray with that. Don't want this bright. I, I would venture to say it almost feels a bit like scribble, scribbling and layering over. Um, zinc white and a little purple. Look pretty dark under his feet. This is the, f I think these kind of paintings are fun. They're not hard to do. And um, see all the colors that were on that brush when I do that? Okay, so we've got, wow, what, there's some. This is, again, our energy. Um, our energy um, brush strokes. You can, you can break them up, you know, just break the colors up so it's not all any just particular one particular color, but you're, you know, some, some brush strokes, if you do something like, say, this, and suggest that it's level, like, for instance, if I do something like that. More down to earth. Yeah, but just, just doing a few things like that, but maybe that isn't. So you see see what I just did? To me, not, not a lot, but just something, yes? And um, uh, let's see. My light paint, I'm just going to come... Make your face just a tiny bit. I could make that easier with a Posca pen than I could with a brush because I have to 
cut in on the face a little bit right here. And I don't need to do much. Okay. Okay. Now let's paint the let's paint the wand. Oh no, I know what we have to do too. We want some There we go. All right. Oh, I didn't put any light yellow in here yet either. That's really energy. Yellow is really energy. All right, painting the wand kind of this orange color. And you know, I'm not. I could tape it, but it's not a straight wand. It's a. It's like a stick. It's a stick, man. It's a magic stick from a magic tree. That's right. It's a magic stick from his magic tree. Okay. Okay, now up here, this is, come on, he's, he's fun, isn't this fun? When, we still have to do more beard, but this had to dry first. All right, so we're gonna take some um, orange and a little bit of white and come up here like this. And put some sparkles like that. Roll the brush when you're trying to do points. You know that, right? Roll the brush. I do. I remember that. Okay. Um, I'm out of Payne's Gray, which is shocking, isn't it? But we will put more out because we can. And I see something I have to do right this second, which is put a little um, light blue under here on the bottom where his coat is. There we go. We're gonna suggest a bottom to his coat. Let's just give it a little L there, okay? Now, all right, so it takes a while to <laughs> do this, but it's really just, it's not hard. It's just about drawing. So we're going to say up here like this. Okay, tap that in there. You see that? Wipe the brush off and then... Tap, tap, tap. Let the, don't, t don't touch the center. Just there it is, sparkly. You know, it's just almost like a fizzle stick, right? A what stick? Like a fizzle stick. A fizzle stick? Mm hmm Isn't there such a thing as a fizzle stick? Um, we had sparklers during the 4th of July. That may, might be a trademark. And then this is kind of... Yeah, that's that hand there, and this this finger comes out a little bit further. And then that one comes out less further. That one comes out. Okay. 
There you go. All right, something like that. So, uh, oh, what do I want here? Something lighter on this thumb. And sometimes you just have to dry, and I'm trying to get away with not drying it, which is silly. I should just dry it. Really? And then not I a would, live show. We're not a live show, and I just just need this to be lighter. Right, and then the top of this one to be lighter here where it's coming around. All right, and then we've got the lantern coming down here like this. Which is great fun, too, right? Oh, absolutely. We'll put some black next to it. Our paint's gray, so it really shows up. Yeah, that's kind of a cool... I think that's a cool-looking ladder, don't you? It's very classy. Huh? I think it's very classy. Yeah, it just um it kinda is. Here's some CAD light around the for the middle of it. A little bit more on the top of that like that. And um let me just show you let me just drive this and I'll show you what a Posca pen can do for details. Well that's good. All right, come here, you go in the water. So I want to say that in here, there's my Posca pen like this, and I can... can really... I can do details with it. Just small things, right? But it makes, you know, I mean, that's, that makes it, you know, a difference, right? And, um, uh, for instance, uh, I needed a little bit of dark on the, those hands, but I wasn't getting it with the brush, so I can come around here like that and kind of draw in, draw in the, the, the places in between where his hand is that uh, you, otherwise you wouldn't see. And uh, let's do a little bit of the light right here around the hand like this. Okay, and then here's his, his sleeve. See? So sometimes you can just suggest what something is by the brush strokes. Does that make sense? By the brush strokes. By the brush strokes. Right? And I'm putting a little yellow on this because it's, um, the lantern is, is causing some, some uh, light. And then I want some kind of before I finish the beard, I want to have some, just a little purple. I'm holding my brush very flat, barely touching this. This is going to suggest that there's a little bit of color in this beard. Nothing is ever just one color. And uh, that's, that's good to know, right? It is. And, uh, okay, so we've got... Um, we're going to dry that, and then I'll finish the beard, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Make sure you have a clean brush, because the next... You see how I had thought I had white on there, and I didn't? Did you guys see that? I did see that. So that's where people lose their light, so they don't realize that uh, they lost it. So you've got these lighter gray areas, and then you definitely want the 
light on his mustache. All right, so that's, uh, let's see, make sure we're kind of balanced over here. Wow, how fun is this, you guys? I ask you, I think this is kind of, I have to say, I think this has got to be sort of fun, right? Let's get a lot more yellow edge on that. That. Um, I think we've got a few of these little orange, just, I don't want to say graf graffiti, but, um, um, I'm just going to make sure I've got some blue here next to his wand. I want to just straighten his wand up just a little bit, then I have it take a little bit of, um, of the I just didn't want it that I kind of lost this this thing right here there we go a stick didn't look very straight okay and I think it looks better now and it can have some let's just put some dark next to it put his little robe on that side of it too Bring it down a little further to his feet. And this is see now look how I'm doing that. Wipe all the paint off. I just wanted a little stop right there where he was. So he's teeing it out a little bit. Yeah. So, so he's, you know what I mean? You just know where he lives. But this is a painting that's full of a little bit of energy. It's a loose painting. Yeah, it's loose. People always say, I want to paint loose. They think they mean it. It'd be a good test of your skills. But uh, do you have our, our little frame out there, John, somewhere? Uh, let me round that up for you, my queenness. I'm just going to put a few more these little sparkly things here. And... Um, So that's why you want several coats of white, because you can't always predict when you're going to have it. All right, so there you go. Let's put the white right there. All right, let me just move this. Oh my gosh, did, it, did he get cute suddenly? Maybe? Suddenly cute? Yes? Is that suddenly cute? Yes. That's why we do this. How fun is that? Just. That's a good look right there. I mean, you know, now, um, if, if for say, you wanted it to feel like more of a Halloween painting, I think you could put just a couple of black bats back here in the background, some tiny ones. Oh. But that, I think it's more of a. Like your birds. <laughs> what? Bat birds. Yeah, bat birds. You could. You, you know. could, but I wouldn't. But I, you know, for me, I, I don't want to. I wouldn't want to do that. No. Yeah. 
I think he's just cute the way he is. We've never really done anything like this on this channel before, as far as, um, you know, something as whimsical. We've done some whimsical things, probably more on our, in our academy with the cat and stuff like this, but I, I felt this was um, going to be easy enough for you guys to do. And fun enough. And still, and still be marvelously fun, right? Oh, I see I'm missing one kind of thing I want to put with me. All right, hang on. There's the other uh, lines for our, our um, let's do one right here. Our, our, our uh, lantern. And that, and then I want to bright, I want something brighter right there. That's that cad, cadmium. You can't beat that cadmium color for just a bright orange. It just, you just can't. Just, that is just such a fun color. Um, There, the tans. So, um, let's see, wait, wait, I see one more thing. Um, this is why I do this. I want to bring this uh, up under his hat a little bit like that. And bring his hat, I think I like the shape of that better if I did this with the hat. All right. Now, since we have a few outlines, on the hat. You see that up there where we kind of outlined it? What you've got to do is just take a little brush and say some blue and this you got to come up here like that. Um, make sure you've got the right color brush. You want me to pull that frame off? Uh, no, it's all right. I want to come up under the under his hat like this because I got the Just whenever you change colors on something, make sure you have a little more of that in there. All right, like that, see? So now we, I just didn't want to see that light there. And um, and uh, I feel like we, um, I think that we got that. There. Yes and yes. Okay, I mean, how fun is this, John? I wonder, I'm very curious to see if anybody finds this fun to paint. Well, I certainly hope they do. Something a little different for you. Well, we try, right? If, you know. And besides, this is the kind of painting that might go in some somebody's home that you know would really love this, right? And um, you want to make sure that... Um, um, we want to make sure that you have some options, not just, um, yeah, just, this is the sparkles of life, man. I love it. <laughs> All right. Come on. Was this not fun? It was just fun. Different. I think you, I know you know you can do it. You just need to get our traceable on, on, on our website, uh, Curly Painting with Ginger Cook. This is a fun, I think this could be a holiday picture too. Don't you guys think so? I think you can take this all the way. What's the holiday? Well, I mean, it could be holidays, you know. Um. <laughs> holiday. <laughs> uh, a gnome wizard and Halloween. Well, I mean, it could be Halloween if you just, you know what I mean? You could. Um, Throw snow on it. You have a, you know, a little Christmassy action. Yeah, you know, you could. You, you, you absolutely could. Couldn't you put you? a bunny down there, you could have Easter. Oh, God, John, you have the best ideas. Doesn't he have the. Best idea. I think a bunny would be cute. Yes. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. All right. I'll sign it and we'll just be, we'll say happy days on this. Yes and yes. Happy days are here again. <laughs> now, I hope you've been watching. So because, because this is a premiere, we haven't, you know, taken a lot of time to show you the artwork that's coming up in the Academy, but I'm sure we've, We've made some little uh, inserts, so I hope you've enjoyed those. 
<laughs> you have such high hopes on the editing department. We don't, don't know. You? We don't know. This is all but we at least get the, down. They're going to show up in the Gazette. Come on. Yeah, so watch our Gazette because if you want to see YouTube Gazette comes out every Monday at 12.30 Central Time. That's what we shoot for. That's when it goes to press. That's what they say, you know. When it goes to press, right? It goes right? to press. There you go. It's finished. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, listen, happy painting Monday. I know you're going to have fun. That's, you got to tell me, was this the kind of thing you found fun? I really want to know because if it is, you might get another one this spring. You never know. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us. If you have not subscribed, why not? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification and bell. Share. Share with your friends. Share Let with your friends. Share Help with us friends. spread the word. Um, that's so important. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.